um, in 1970 it comes out and with Peter Boyle and, and a very young and Susan Sarandon in her first film. That's right. That was Susan's first movie. Did you did you see that she had star quality then? Did you she had the chops? It looked like she was going to have a long career. Uh, she was very talented and had beautiful eyes, and um, uh, and that was still the, a gorgeous woman. Absolutely, and a, and a terrific actor. And Peter Boyle, God bless him and God rest his soul. I mean, you you remember from Young Frankenstein, but he had the chops, you know, from Raymond, you know, doing the TV, and to see him in this. Um, the movie grows on you. You just you just develop this kind of taking justice in your own hand kind of thing, if you will. Tell us where that came from in terms of the storyline and everything. It, your your good friend wrote the the script. I understand. Uh, Norman uh, Wexler and I uh, met in uh, in the advertising business. We were both uh, copywriters, and um, he had uh, written a, a play, a one act play, which was brilliant called A Week From Tuesday. And the story was about these two women. Uh, one was the wife and one was the mistress. And uh, they had never met each other and they had found out about what was going on and they, uh, and they met for lunch. And they discussed the husband lover. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and they hit it off. And they decided that they would meet again a week from Tuesday for another lunch. And at the end of the play, you didn't know who who was the wife and who was the mistress. Right. Oh, that's amazing. So he, he was a, a brilliant writer, and uh, he that's had he had seen uh, an article by Gail Sheehy in uh, Passages Fame, right? Right in New York uh, Magazine, um, uh, an article called "Speed Is of the Essence" about a, a rich uh, young girl from Greenwich, Connecticut, who had. Uh, moved to New York and uh, was living with a, a drug dealer. And that was part of the inspiration for Joe. And the other part was uh, Spiro Agnew and, the, uh, uh, and his uh, advo advocacy of uh, the silent majority. Mm -hmm. And he put those two uh, uh, together and uh, uh, told me the, uh, the story he had in mind. And I said, well, I think that... You know, to put that uh, right out of treatment. That sounds uh, good. So he did. And um, um, I had uh, uh, made a uh, uh, sort of a bawdy uh, comedy called Guess What We Learned in School Today for mm -hmm. a, uh, a company called Canon. And um, they uh, uh, wanted me to make another picture. I had uh, showed them the outline for Joe, mm -hmm. but they didn't seem interested. And they had, they, uh, they said, you know, no. But they had um, uh, gotten all set to make this other movie, and then at the last minute they decided that they, they didn't want to make it, but they had to make something, or otherwise they'd have to give the money back. Right, and they didn't want to do that. Which right? is, you never want to give the money back. Uh, <laughs> So uh, I said, well, remember that uh, story about the, well, okay. So with great reluctance, they said yes. And um, that was in uh, early November. And the, uh, uh, within uh, five or six weeks, um, Norman had written the uh, script in a week, and we had uh, cast it. Um, and we started uh, shooting in uh, January, and the picture opened in July. My goodness. And it caught the, uh, uh, the essence of the times. In, when Peter Boyle uh, came in to audition, um, the, we, we read the scene where we first meet Joe in a bar where he's... Mouthing off like Archie. Exactly. Like Archie Bone. Exactly. And damning the hippies and Everybody. and the music and so forth, and um, um, and there uh, 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 there was a line in this uh, in this uh, speech that said, uh, "You show me a lover. Uh, you show me a welfare worker who's not a lover, and I'll massage your asshole." That was the uh, <laughs> that was the line. Uh, so uh, I said to Peter, I said, you know, you, you, 
you know, the uh, the beats of the same. Let's improvise it and, um, uh, you know, use your own words. So when he came to that line and he said, you and, and, uh, and I'll massage your asshole and I ain't queer. I said, you got it. That would be exactly what this guy would say if he ever were to say such a thing. And Archie, in and the words of Norman Lear, would that's say that's right. Too. And that's how uh, uh, that's how uh, he came to have the job. But the um, the folks who were running uh, Canon at the time thought he looked too young. Yeah. Uh, that Be nobody would, looked too young. Yeah. That nobody would believe that he had been in World War II. Uh, so they said, no, 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 no. Um, uh, keep uh, keep find somebody else. So um, we did, um, but uh, a couple of uh, days before we started to shoot, this uh, this other actor um, ended up uh, urinating on the escalator at, uh, at Bloomingdale's in New York, and I said, you know, I think we should go with Boyle. And, <laughs> yeah. and again, with reluctance, they uh, said yes, and Peter was brilliant. Yeah, I thought it, was, it still plays today. I tell you, it's pertinent.